Hello my artists, we are going to create a Easter card today. If you don't want to make an Easter card, maybe you want to make a spring card or just a card with a rabbit on the front, I will show you how to draw something like this. We will add color, it's going to look wonderful. You will just need a piece of paper. I'll show you with this lined paper, notebook paper colors i will use crayons if you have colored pencils markers that works whatever you have at home and something to draw with remember a pencil is always best so you can erase i'm going to use a sharpie just so you can see my lines so they stand out in uh, the camera okay so let's take our paper and we want to fold it in half okay and make sure if i fold it in half i don't want it long like this like a hot dog bun i want to fold it so it's like a book you can make lots of these give them to your family okay Oop. just like this so this is the start of our card right this is the cover when you open it up you're going to write inside okay so i'll go ahead and start on the cover of my card and for this adorable little bunny, I'm going to create a really big oval shape. Boop. Remember, when you're breaking down the lines and the shapes, you want to start with your largest shape first. That's always easier. If you look at anything and you want to copy it, draw along, you want our biggest shape first which is that head right just like when you're drawing a person you're doing a self-portrait drawing yourself you want to create blah, 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 that largest shape first which would be your head don't start with your eyes start with that circle that oval okay so let's add some bunny ears I'm gonna draw two boop, curved lines right on the top of his head the little bunny's head put two smaller curved lines inside this is how we know these are ears okay this is the outside of the ear and the smaller line this shape inside is the inside of the ear okay so let's do two big circles for those bunny eyes and you can make small eyes if you want this is up to you. Get creative now. I'm going to draw kind of a curve on top. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. These little bunny eyes. Two little circles. And I'm going to fill this in. You can do this later if you want to add a color. I'm just going to fill mine right in. Now if you're using a marker, you can always go over your lines, your pencil lines with your marker, and then color in with your crayon. That's always nice. Keep those lines and they stand out. Remember, if you have markers and crayons, it's okay to use both on a piece of art, right? And you know, when you see cards, this is artwork as well, right? Remember, just like illustrators, artists that create the artwork, the drawings that are on cards that you see all the time, or maybe you walk by in the store, artists created those. Okay, now we'll add boop, 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 a little nose down here, a little upside down triangle. And then that W for a mouth. And you could add little teeth if you want, little bunny teeth here. They would look like this, like a little bitty, a little bitty um, square, kind of in the mouth, sticking out there. You can even put a little line if you want the two, two teeth. <laughs> In this bunny's hair 
you can add this, you don't have to. I'm draw I drew a circle first, a little circle, and then ovals all around it. Now you're gonna notice my line shows, but once I add the color, we will see that. Don't, don't be afraid to draw right on top of your lines, okay? And right here I have some petals. Boop. Maybe a third little flower. And some petals. Or leaves sticking out of the side. She has flowers in her hair, kind of like Frida Kahlo. It's the Frida Kahlo of bunnies. Get my little glasses on here. Okay. I might add some circles. For little red cheeks, kind of like Pikachu. Maybe some little whiskers coming out. You can add more details, less details. That's up to you for your little Easter bunny. I might put on the inside. Maybe we open it up and then have our message inside. You can write anything you want. And I can still see my bunny on this side because I used marker. I might put, instead of Happy Easter, I might write Hoppy Easter. Because bunnies hop. You get it? Huh? Hoppy, and I'm writing this upside down, so bear with me. Copy that down. If you don't want to put Happy Easter or Hoppy Easter, so that's a joke there, and I might underline this. Hoppy, so whoever I give the card to, they notice I did that on purpose because it's a little bunny. Oh, and we can turn this little O into a bunny too. I love this idea. Little bunny. I fold this in half, Oop, let's fold it in half again, look at that front cover, and add some color to it. Right, I'm going to add a little, a little red, I'm going to lightly color in the cheeks. So that red is a little more pink looking, and the little nose. Maybe, oh, maybe these, oh, I want these flowers to be purple and yellow because these are complementary colors and they make each other look brighter. This one's purple, this one will be yellow, and I'll make this one purple. And if you want your rabbit white, I might leave mine white. Then I just won't color in the fur, okay? I won't color in this part. I'm gonna let that paper be the white that's sticking out. Maybe some green. Do, 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 do. Oh, and you know what? We'll take that red. Slightly colored. And I want to take, let's see, let's do my orange. Let's put maybe a blue. And this is up to you, and I'm going to just color around. This bunny. Going lightly at first, just all around. 
Then I can fill in the whole page. I can leave a little border with white. I might add a little green on the outside. Remember if you're using colored pencils or crayons, you can blend or mix your colors together. Take my green on the outside. I might color in the rest of the remaining white that's in the background or anywhere I can see paper. Start coloring that in. Mm -hmm. Put a pattern or oh, little eggs all over, little Easter eggs. That'd be cute too. So since I left this rabbit white, I left the paper and I didn't color it in, it's really important that I added color to the background so it really stands out. That's that contrast, right? It's light and against that dark blue, that blue color, it really stands out. It pops out at you. That's that contrast, okay? All right, so if you do, if you have colors, you want to leave areas white, that's okay. Make sure you add that contrast for that visual interest. All right, and my little bunny card, when you open it up, it says Happy Easter. Happy. All right, we can easily make that an A and turn it into a Happy Easter instead, okay? I hope you had fun. I will see you soon in person or in Zoom. Goodbye.